Pisces, you are up for the July money energy reading. KIRWKC.com, a podcasting platform. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy in the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all of that, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So, Pisces, this particular win will be by sheer force alone, where you're willing this into existence. You have a strong determination to win. I want to start with the tarot cards first, because you should start with oracle cards, but something happened. I feel like there was something that happened between you and another person. This person could have been a Gemini specifically, doesn't have to be, but I feel like they could have been an air sign. Also, it could have been a, um, a Scorpio or an Aries as well, because Tower is Mars energy. But there's something that happened or something that was said that really affected you. It affected you mentally, it affected you emotionally. It messed with your self-confidence, your self-esteem. Also, um, something with this interaction or this incident, and again, if it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. With this particular interaction or incident, it made you feel like you weren't as intelligent as the other person. I can tell you that you will get the win. Let's go into the oracle cards right quick and then we'll come back to the tarot cards. So, card that came out is Exploration. Curiosity kills boredom. Nothing can kill curiosity. Exploring unlocks your path. Let me read that again. Curiosity kills boredom. Nothing can kill curiosity. Exploring unlocks your path. Exploration. Now, the other card that came out is knowledge. Knowledge is power. Keep learning. Take a course. Use what you know to succeed. Again, knowledge is power. Keep learning. Take a course. Use what you know to succeed. So knowledge. So you have exploration and you have knowledge. Both saying, seek out the information. I feel you are doing that. That is what I feel you're doing. You're seeking out the information. Now, The other card that came out is Magic Key. It says, first think of what you want to do, then take some steps. Intention and action are key. Again, first think of what you want to do, then take some steps. Intention and action are key. Magic key. Now, going to the bottom of the deck, it says breakthrough. This card has been coming out a lot too. It says, don't let your limitations stop your success. You have the strength to break through. Again, don't let your limitations stop your success. You have the strength to break through. Now, it's interesting that this card is on the bottom of the deck and then on the bottom of the tarot deck, guess what's on here? Strength. This is Leo energy. We're entering Leo season. It wouldn't surprise me if you get a confidence boost during Leo season. Where, where your confidence was kind of shaky before, as soon as we get towards the end of July, when Leo season starts around, I think July the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, then you will start to see a little bit of change in your confidence. 
But also what this is saying with breakthrough and strength at the bottom of these decks right here. This is a double confirmation that you are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you think. So keep that in mind as well. Now, let's wrap this up with the other tarot and then one last oracle card. So whatever happened, Queen of Cups energy, it forced you to reflect. This is Cancer energy. You could have Cancer in your chart or it could be dealing with, with the Cancer, but also Queen of Cups is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel some of you did some reflecting when everything happened. And then... You looked inside with the Hermit card. This is Virgo energy. And you started gathering more information or that's what you are about to do. Once you gather more information, you have the Magician card. The Magician was once the Fool. But after the Fool went on the journey and gathered everything, gathered the Pentacles, gathered the Wands, gathered the Swords, gathered the Cups, the Fool became the Magician, meaning they have the power to do what needs to be done because they have access to everything they need. They can make magic happen. And I feel that is what you will be doing. Final card, Oracle card is ascending. And it says, because you demand more from yourself, others respect you deeply. You rise to a new level. Again, because you demand more from yourself, Others respect you deeply. You rise to a new level. So you are ascending. But the reason you're doing that is because you were strong and determined to explore and gather the knowledge that you need. You're setting your intentions and you're taking action to create that magic key to unlock the things that you need to unlock. But for this, as the title says, because I, I wrote the title down, new knowledge will be, will be your silver bullet. Meaning that this new knowledge that you're acquiring for something where you were trying to reach for it and reach for it and reach for it and it seemed like you just couldn't grab onto it. Once you gather this new knowledge, I feel this is going to end any blocks that you may have or have had. It will put an end to it where more than likely you won't have to ever deal with it again. But in order to get to that level, you have to stay on, you have to stay in the game you have to stay strong and also you have to believe in yourself. And like I said, once Leo season gets here, I have a feeling you'll get a confidence boost. All right. So Pisces, that is your message. Until next time, be blessed.